Yo, what's up, Keyforge? I'm Zoc, and this is Fresh Marks. How y'all doing? What's up, Ketzer? What's up, Spider? Sunday? How are y'all doing? Data Frog stream. Data Frog. Ooh, maybe that can be a new key cheat. An upcoming. It's like a mix between Data Forge and Key Frog. Hmm. What's up, Quick Draw? Oh, we got lots of fresh stuff. We have 64 decks to go through. A whole bunch of them have offers. People have been going crazy with all the national championships coming up, with the vault tours coming up. Especially in Europe, there's foreign language Wodex live out for sale. There, there's tons of stuff going on. What's up, Zoded? How's it going? So let's jump right in because we got a lot to get through. Um... I didn't have time to prepare everything, but I, I did a lot. I have all 64 decks ready to go. Um, the one thing I need to check at the end is make sure that we covered all the offers that happened. Because there's been a lot of offers going on. Whoa, Quick Drop popped some Vietnamese decks tonight. That is sweet. Well, maybe they're not fresh, but having a Vietnamese language deck is fresh. In fact... Yes. They're so fresh. Snap. That's right. I'm bouncing between a couple decks for Worlds Open Journeys. Oh, yeah. That's right, Worlds. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Zoded. Really appreciate it. It's definitely not needed, but I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so at Worlds in November, there is a open qualifier, more or less, to... Uh, Get in the last world spots. I'm kind of out of loop since Vault Tour season started, so I'm interested to see what kind of things have been discovered. Ooh, lots of things, lots of things. Uh, like Winds of Exchange, it just won a Vault Tour. It's six out of eight top cut in the last couple Archon Vault Tours. So, yeah, that's what's happening. And there's a lot of Vault Master decks uh, that we're going to see tonight, too. So that's going to be interesting. All right, let's 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 jump right in. This is Ivana, Slimy Gate Guide. It's a Prospector deck, 90 SAS. It's being sold by Dilly73. No offers yet. Um, 18 token making, so it's got a whole bunch of potential speed with Prospector. It is a Holofest deck with Fresh Marks, so you can get it off that same turn. Uh, Double Press Gang is pretty sweet here. And... Let's see, what else we got? We got the Ambitrage, which is pretty cool. You're drawing extra cards. That's really good, probably, to, to get to your uh, Holofest. Avid Collecting as well, to in case you made Holofest into a token. That's pretty nice. Puzzling Trinket, Esquire. And then it's got Double Clone Home, Double Space Invaders, and Iron X Rebel. Mix of Tall Minded. It is a little bit low on Amber Control. Uh, but that is Ivana. All right, next up we have the Turbulent Navigator of Najabar. An 85 SAS Winds of Exchange deck with a Cultist. This is also being sold by Dilly73. No offers yet. 22 and a half token making. So you can probably get Tengaika out on this. It's also this uh, Unfathomable. has some tools. It's got Browso Arc. It's got a Fathom Reaver. It's got Timote the Damned, Whirlpool, an Adult Swim, and Catch and Release, one of the best best ways to wreck a whole board of tokens. Um, let's see. In Mars, we got Double Yixel the Iron Captain, Double Beam Buckler, Double Iron X Propaganda, Nizix Ren Resonator, and Grondel, and Iron X Banner. It's pretty good with the Captains. And in Sanctum, Triple Revered Monk. Not that great. Martyr of the Vault. Katarina the Summoner. Uh, I could do some things. And Glorious Few if you get uh, board wiped. All right. Next up, we have Orlando Salvo Philohind. It's a 91 SAS Prospector deck. This one's being sold by Flaming Hobo, and it already has a $600 offer just from a few days ago from Patomas out of Spain. Uh, it's had three offers already over four hundred dollars. 
We are, I forgot to mention, we are catching up on two weeks of fresh marks. Hey, no legs up, pirate. Thanks for following. Nice to see you. So, yeah, a $600 offer. Let's see what we got here. And it's worth noting that $600 offer, it says canceled here. Um, I assume it was rejected. It, the $500 offer was rejected. So what, what do they see here? It does have uh, some good Ember Control and Mars with Ammonia Clouds, triple Mars Needs Ember. So you can really get off those Mars Needs Ember. Um, it's got the Ether Spider, Iron X Rebel, Memorox of Red with Scoop Up, an Equidon, Double Gem Coat Vendor, Generous Offer, and Brobnar, we have a Frost Giant with Gauntlet of Command, Ragnarok Pep, Ranta Rive, Champions Challenge, Berserker Slam. I'm not sure why somebody's offering $600 for this. What what am I missing here? It It is kind of well-rounded. It's got uncommon currency for some pseudo artifact control. Um, I don't feel like it's making Ember that quickly. But it is somewhat well-rounded, and I, I guess if it's somewhat well-rounded and it's got enough speed, then maybe maybe that's why they like it. Um, they can just keep cycling the Mars Needs Ember, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing why it's worth $600, though, because I feel like a lot of other Winds of Exchange are... are just as good for, for less sass and cheaper, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably missing something, so I'd love to see it in action. But that is Orlando. All right, next up we have a 90 success prospector deck. This is the pupa that rejoices in ships. This is also being sold by Flaming Hobo. No offer on this one. And it also has an antiquities dealer, and it brought in Spike Trap. And the first scroll. So it has some uh, tricky uh, ways to punish them if they go too high. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, they are writing the Prospector hype, I think, in that last one. You know, Prospector, I think it's still good in the right deck. But it's definitely not as good as people thought it was maybe a couple months ago. Yeah, Prospector is overrated, IMO. Sold out of my good Prospector deck, and I don't feel bad about it. Yeah, I actually sold my super high SAS Prospector deck too, and I also don't feel bad about it. But we'll see. We'll see if it does anything in Vegas. I don't know. Um, let's see. What else has this got? Another Champions Challenge. It's, that is a great board wipe. I love Champions Challenge. Ragnarok Prep, a Flea Market, and a Sand Hopper. Those are pretty cool. Uh, recorded history for a little bit of speed. FOF transponder to get more prospectors out there. Um, quick draw also selling us prospectors. Yep, it's it's a fad. We're gonna see a lot of prospector decks tonight. Um, yep. So that is the pupa that rejoices in ships. All right. Next up, we have a researcher deck. Davit long range factory counselor. This is an 86 SAS being sold by Chimera. Uh, it's got no listed price. Yeah, the ones you played weren't that scary. Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of what's happened. Now, there was a really good Prospector deck, actually. Um, Trader Daniel that Mike Fooney top-cutted Philadelphia in. That one is actually really good. I've tested with that one a lot. It's really good. And Joe, yeah, Zoded, you also got a Prospector deck that's really good. Yep, for sure. What's up, Amber Meadies? Nice to see you. Uh, you missed a, a few, but we have like 60 more to go, so you're good. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got double heavy subsidies, calling JT Russell, um, Harmonic Ritual, Glorious Few. We have Kaboom, Grondel. Ether Spider, Iron X Rebel, Generous Offer, Mass Buyout. So this one's also kind of well-rounded here. And with the Researcher, maybe you can archive a whole bunch of Mars. 
uh, kaboom them and then play out a whole bunch of creatures, use Rebel to use a couple right away. Um, kind of, I think it is a little bit light on Ember Control. You kind of need to have the board, but it does have lots of good creature control. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it works with the heavy subsidies. And I guess you do have Destroy Them All, so you can, uh, and Celestial Gorm, so you can take them back if you need to. Make them pay a lot, but then you don't pay a lot. So there's probably some actually really cool tricks with this one. This definitely looks like a sloppy lab work type deck. <laughs> Check out their episode on heavy subsidies. Okay, next up we have the truly amicable Vent Ventner of Docaterra. Another prospector deck, 90 sass. Uh, this is being sold by Zodid. What's up? Uh, has no listed price. It's got a favorite. Somebody likes it. We got double Esquire in the house. That's some pretty good token generation. We have double Trading Frenzy. Trade Secret Sandhopper. Sandhopper, triple Sandhopper just won the last Vault Tour. So Sandhopper is very strong. Closed Door Negotiation. Really good Ember Control. Out Negotiate can be good as well. The Brobnar here. Berserker Slam. Another Champion's Challenge. Great board wipe. Fresh Marks is really good. Brick Nasty with, um, I guess, four other four other Brobnar creatures. Ancient Battleground, probably. Probably discarding that? But I don't know. I made a mistake of discarding that once in an ABR match. So it's probably not always a discard. It's It's situational. Joe says, I think if this had an auction off, it would be really good. Um, it definitely does look like it can do some things. Dude, yeah, triple Sandhopper. Um, that was that was nuts. I mean, he had a, a card that had uh, a uh, uh, Suzanne that had like three enhanced Ember and a enhanced Drop Pip or something, and he could play it three three times a turn. Maybe he had Chew Ember actually, Chew Ember. He could play it three times a turn, and then um, he could also play Bubbles like two or three times a turn. It was, it was nuts. It was cool. All right, in Sanctum, Hadros Wall could actually be pretty cool. Katarina the Summoner. Membership Drive uh, with, it looks like actually a lot of ways to make tokens, so Membership Drive could be a really good way to burst here. Hey, what's up, Fudgenator? Nice to see you. Stuart just gave all her <laughs> enhancements to herself, totally. All right, so that is a truly am amicable Vintner of Docaterra. It does look pretty good. It does look pretty good. Uh, it does have the Gorm. It does have the Gorm, but as Joe says, it, auction off would be the cherry on top. Okay, next up we have Miracle Hippodrome, Hippodrome Conductor, a hundred three SAS prospector deck. We got all the high SAS prospector decks tonight. This one's also being sold by Zoded. It's already got an offer of two hundred fifty dollars that's been rejected today. Uh, we've had three offers from Anto two two nine in the last week plus. Now, like I said before, Vault Tour's coming up in Europe. They got a lot of national championships this weekend, so they want some good decks. And this one is a little bit well-rounded. Um, we got the we got the artifact control on this one. Let's check out our Ember control. Generous offer, taxing journey, stir crazy, Katarina the summoner, and in the creature control, mass buyout, maelstrom, adult swim, Azure Basin outpost. We do have the befuddle, which is nice. The fathom reaver is nice. Double membership drive can probably hit really hard in this deck. Um, especially with the Katarina. You can outflank on the Katarina to get even more Ember on it on the same turn. And you can bring the Katarina back with a Light Everlasting. And you can kill it the same turn with Martyr's End. Uh, that's actually a really sweet combo. Play Katarina. Play like Grey Abyss or Celestial Gorm. You already have two on it. Outflank, you have four on it. Taxing Journey, you have five on it. Boom, Martyr's in, you make five. Membership Drive, boom, that's six ember right there. If you have dual Membership Drive, 
yeah, you can burst really fast. So this one actually, yeah, this one has some has some things it can do. Shopping spree gives you a little bit of extra speed. Discard your hand and draw a card for each card discarded this way. That's actually pretty nice. Yeah. So I can see why that one's getting some offers. And in fact, in fact, I would call this deck so fresh. All right. That is Miracle. Next up. Yeah, the deck is faster than it looks, says Zodid. I believe it. I believe it. Next up, we have a warrior deck. Gab Siggy, O'Toole Parmar, Exolinguist. An 88 Sass Holofest deck. Oh, this one's already sold. This one's already sold. Or it's off the market, at least. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Gab Siggy. What was the deal with Gab Siggy? Oh, this was being sold by you, Zoded. So you can tell us what's up with this one. Uh, but it's no longer for sale. It was for sale. Uh, but we will move on. All right, we got to get out the translator. We have a deck being sold. Oh, no, this is no longer for sale as well. This was being sold by Master Key for a hundred dollars. Quad bow knighting with a one last job. Uh, so I'm guessing this one sold really quick for a hundred dollars because it was it was being listed for a hundred dollars. So that's probably what happened with that one. Okay, this one next up is Evie Scoop, the chairperson knight captain. It's an 87 SAS prospector deck. Oh, yep. So Joe confirms Gab Siggy was sold for a lot of money. All right. Good for you. Good for you. All right. So we have Eevee Scoop 87 Sass. And uh, this one also has a really good Unfathomable. This is owned by This This. And yeah, I was even thinking about it for a brew with an alliance with this great Unfathomable. I got to turn off my tags. Um, This Unfathomable double Abyssal Sight. Double Befuddle, Thalassophobia, Timoti the Damned. Uh, I love this. I love this Unfathomable. Uh, the Storian, not as exciting, but it does have a lot of big bodies. Uh, double Ballastego, Double Longasaur Lector, Chaosodon, Praetor Marius, Tribune Pompidus, uh, Phalanx Strike, Pax Soriana, Crushing Charge, so you can. Destroy all those weak creatures and then have all your big creatures still saw, survive. And then it does a couple double mass buyouts, a trade secrets, a trading frenzy, Esquire, generous offer. Yeah, it says 1.2 for Amber Control, but honestly, that's underrated. It has a whole bunch of minuses for Ballastego, mass buyouts, Phalanx Strike, Longasaur Lectors. Um. So I think that's actually underrated on this one. And that unfathomable, I mean, that's that's kind of a control right there. Different type of control, but this one's probably good. The Saurian probably knocks it down a little bit. I agree. I agree. With that good of unfathomable, you probably actually kind of want that to be your main house if you could just keep playing into it and have creatures that would reap. But that almost never happens with Unfathomable. Uh, definitely a great alliance pod. All right, so that is Eevee Scoop. Next up, we have the Stalker that levels hunger. This is an 87 sass being sold by Big Z for $300. It's got a listed price of $300. It's a Berserker deck. We have a double Ragnarok prep. Um, I believe. Ooze also has double Ragnarok prep, and that's made made top cut a whole bunch of times. Uh, Endless Hordes with Berserker is pretty cool. Double Shred of Smack. And it does have the Brick Nasty to go with that Endless Hordes Berserker. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, Endless Hordes and Berserker is really nice. Uh, especially if you get the Revenant out there. It's got a Get a Hammer as well. 
Um, unguarded camp could probably do some work. Um, take out their whole board and capture a bunch. We have Mars Needs Ember with Ammonia Clouds. We have a double Mark II generator, so we're also making a lot of Berserkers. Uh, 15T. Also, the Space Invaders might actually be really good to use with all your Star Alliance creatures. Uh, in Star Alliance, we have Recorded History, Rogue Operations, Selective Preservation. So this one actually has pretty good board control. A little bit of speed. Um, some decent Ember control. Double Echo Reflector. Uh, no Artifact control. But besides that one, this one actually looks pretty good. The Stalker that levels Hunger. All right, next up we have Nalaren, Demonapeak Shrew. Demona Peak. Uh, this is an 88 SAS Prospector deck. We got all the Spross Prospectors. This is being sold by Debar53. No illicit price. What do we got here? Auction off. Double pull up stakes could be good. Trading Frenzy. Puzzling Trinket. Shrewd Investor. We have an Esquire. Uh, we have a Membership Drive. Double Battlefield Evangelist. Let's see, how many we have a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sanctum creatures with double ostentatious mounts. It could be good. We do have a martyr of the vault here. And then in Star Alliance, double recorded history, a transporter platform. Photon blast, grunt work, plasma nozzle, shakedown Sullivan. I forget what this even does. After reap, choose a creature and discard the top card of this controller's deck. If that card shares a house with a chosen creature, its controller gains one ember. Otherwise, destroy that creature. Okay. I'm not sure if that's good, but... This one seems kind of overrated. But it's one of those things. Sometimes Prospector decks are actually much better than they look, just if they can get to the good cards. But that's always a big if. Alright, but that is Demona Peak. Being sold by Devar53. Ooh, next up we have I Etheus, the Dashing Shrine Prisoner. It's a hundred four SAS Berserker deck. And this one has some offers. We already are at four hundred dollars. Sent a couple days ago. It's had three offers already from Germany and Italy. This is also being sold by Devar53. Uh, it's also got 16 Ember Pips, which is pretty nice for a Berserker deck. It's got Auto Cannon. Don't have to worry about any Scholars. That's nice. Brick Nasty. Smith. Smith has probably got off here a lot, I would think. Because it's got lots of creature control and lots of big bodies. Fresh Marks is nice. Press Gang. In the Mars, we have uh, Ammonia Clouds and Mars Needs Ember. Uh, Brain Dart is so good. Crystal Hive with only three Mars creatures. Not that good. Um, but Double Iron Ox Propaganda to make even more Berserkers. And then the Unfathomable here is actually really good. Abyssal Sight. Double Adult Swim. Really good with the Berserkers. Double Befuddle. Thundertoe, a Fathom Reaver, Kamalani, Crushing Deep, and Sunk Cost. This one's actually pretty nice. Yeah, play cards and win. <laughs> totally. Um, you probably have to plan out your Mars Needs Ember to get good value of it, just to slow them down, just in case you need to. And it doesn't have any artifact control, so that could be a problem. But besides that, yeah, disrupt them and unfathomable and and make money in Brobnar and Ooh, Auto Cannon with a Mars Needs Ember is super nice. And what's up, Southerly Elf? Nice to see you. Play cards and win. And that's why it's getting some offers. For sure. Looks like a very nice deck. Hey, what's up, Dead Sink? My bad pretty press pal. All right, next up we have the Compassionate Doctor. Nice to see you. Nice to see you all. 
The Compassionate Doctrine, 87 SAS Prospector deck, more prospectors. This one has no listed price and it's being sold by Ininios, aka Kirkman. Um, we have a, a Legacy Hypno Beam, that's really sweet. We have the Buggies, it's a buggy deck. Mass Buyout, Shopping Spree, Trading Frenzy, uh, an Esquire. We have a Catch and Release, Double Sunk Cost, Double Bubbles. Uh, but the Compod here in Mars is pretty nice, especially we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Mars creatures. Really good with the uh, Compod. I want to see someone in NKFL with a hexad full of 100 plus SAS decks only. Just not my division. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, that kind of almost sounds like Dick Roland already. Uh, Fudgenator says, so Shaka or Dick Roland, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it might happen with Winds of Exchange coming up. Lots lots of big sass decks there. Um, so this one's a little bit low on Ember Control. Mix, Nizik. A little bit low on artifact control too. It's got uncommon currency, so it's a little bit weird. Um, this Mars can probably do some work though. And if you get your buggies going, that's always good. Aviator, Dinobot, all the high sass, all the high sass, all the time. And I'm hoping you find all the high sass to buy so you can have your own 100 plus sass hexad. <laughs> All right, next up, this is no longer for sale. Um, and this is funny because it's like one of their uh, name decks. So maybe they put it up for sale for accident. I don't know, but it's no longer for sale. So we're not going to waste time on it. Um, we will move on to Batar Y Ka Cash Giant. This is 87 SAS Prospector deck. This is also being sold by Kirkman. AKA N N Y OS. Um, lots of speed. Very limited creature control in this one. Um, Amber control, we do have a closed door negotiation and a martyr of the vault. This could be good. Let's see. It does seem to have, let's see. It says 13 Ember Pips here. Did it actually get them all? Yeah, maybe it did. Uh, didn't get one from Rowdy Scald, actually. Or, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It didn't get one from Rowdy Scald, but I think it got all the rest. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, another Endless Hordes deck, but this time with Prospector. Probably not as good, although you're drawing a lot of cards, so that could be actually pretty good i'd have to see how it plays i don't know but that is batar all right next up we have sophia brother sweaty mawson it's an 85 sass researcher deck oh no it's no longer for sale so never mind we will not take a look at that one Oh, now we're on to the Vault Masters, and this one is for sale. The Muscled Vault Master of Kingsmead. And this one was getting some offers. It's a 93 SAS. It's being sold by Flaming Hobo. Ho Flaming Hobo. Okay, got that right. Um, this has an offer of $500 from Jupiter. Three offers already. A triple subject Kirby. Captain Valjerico. We have a uh, really nice logos here with double mothers, Kronos, Phase Shift, Think Twice, Double Lethologica, Causal Loop. Uh, we have a double Xanthix Harvester, double Proliferator, Mexital Minded, double Mars Knees Ember. Uh, a little bit lacking in the creature control. It does have Grand Alliance Council and Kaboom, which are both great. But no way to get damage on your creatures for that Mars Needs Ember without fighting. So that's that's kind of sad. Um, and actually, the Ember Control B 
because the Marginese Embers are so bad, it's all capture. Except for the Bat Drone and the Armor Drone. That's really funny. I never knew Bat Drone and Armor Drone both are in Vault Masters. Uh, but the 32 speed, so maybe you just don't need Ember Control, right? I don't know. Fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. <laughs> And 21 creatures, too. So you can be popping them out like nobody's business. So that is the Muscle Vault Master of Kingsmead. If you uh, would like it. Apparently, you need over $500. All right, next up, we got to get out the translator. Uh, we have a 90 SAS Mass Mutation. It's a Sins deck. It's got a list of price of 600 euros, and it's being sold by Dennis Cambria. All right, we're getting out... Getting out the translator. This is Proud Starport Missionary Tobiah. Oh, we've actually seen this one before. Uh, but we'll take a quick look. It does have Desire, Greed, and Sloth. An Infernus, a Grim Reminder, a Min Obsidian Forge with 19 creatures. 15 speed overall. A Lethologica, a Q-Max with a Draw Pip is nice. Opposition Research. Axiom of Grisk, Ancient Power, Double Defense Initiative, a Dark Amber Vault with 10 Mutants. That's actually, yeah, that is a nice dab. That is a really nice dab, especially with a Grim Reminder. You can pop all those, let's see, one, two, three, four, five Mutants and Logos into your archive and play them all again. That's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, yeah, so that is the missionary. All right, next up we have the infamous delegate of Boca Root, the very, the very, um, uh, I just had a brain fart. We we don't see Amberlines very often. Yeah, Amberline. We the. Man, I cannot think of a word right now. It's been a long day, but we have an Emberlane deck. We don't see him very often, so it's cool to see. I, I'm still waiting for an Emberlane deck that actually does good in a tournament, because everybody thought it was going to be pretty good, and so far it's done nothing. But yes, this one has double Bryozoark. So that's pretty cool. Also, Abyssal Sight and double Befuddle. Um, initiation, Kelping Hands, in Star Lines, we have double Transporter Platform with double CR Officer Hawkins, which is really good. We have a Ganymede Outpost, so you can speed up to get to your Bryozoarchs. We have Rogue Operation, so unfortunately you discard them probably. Um, and in Brobnar, double Berserker Slam, Press Gang, Stratosmack, double Bumpsy, Crim Torch Tooth. It is a little bit weak on the creature control. You're going to be doing some fighting here uh, with that Crim Torch Tooth. You might need to be popping the Kelping Hands and uh, and fighting with your Amberlings with Poison. But really good disruption here. Uh, it's got a 80 euro offer uh, just today, actually. So that is the infamous Delegate of Boca Root. This is being sold by Arentalon. Is there any good ways to protect them? Well, just make lots of creatures. Put lots of creatures there, I guess. It has a secure droid, so you could put some taunt and a stealth sir as well. So that's not bad. Not bad. All right. That is Boca Root. Next up, we have Pandit. Tulaub, Febland, a 91 SAS Explorer deck. Ooh. This is being sold by Flaming Hobo. No list of price. We got another heavy subsidies deck, and this one looks like it can pop out a lot of Explorers. 18 and a half token generation. We have a closed door negotiation. Double higher on. Although double higher on is actually totally overrated. It's rated as a three for token generation. So maybe take this token generation with a grain of salt. But it does have the double mass buyout, visible hand, uh, Gesdrutio the Arcane, double Colonel Mariana, Baldric the Bold, 
Holmes Master, Katarina to make some more tokens, Martyr of the Vault, Sanctum Guardian for some nice protection. And we have a Selective Preservation, a Rogue Operation, Recorded History, Echo Reflector is nice. This one does look like a difficult heavy subsidies. I think you probably have to discard it for this deck. The creatures do not look sticky, except for the Sanctum. The Sanctum does look nice. It does have uh, seven, eight, eight Sanctum creatures, and most of them are pretty beefy. But if they get you with one board wipe, then what do you do? And you have no artifact control to take care of your own heavy subsidies here. And not a lot of Ember. So that is Pandit. Okay, next up we have Cutie Horlight of the Bolstered Collective. We have a 91 Sath Squire deck. All right, we're getting a little bit of diversity here. This one is being sold by Downward Spiral 2004. No licit price. In Unfathomable, we have an Abyssal Sight and a Double Befuddle and a Cowpie and the Chosen One. Guilt Spine School can get a bunch of Squires out to protect your Calp. That's pretty cool. A Pound, a Frigorific Rod, a Maverick Pound. So it also has double membership drive. Also it has a Katarina the Summoner with a Knight of Bolt, so you can get it out the same turn and maybe do some stuff. Uh, squire Recruitment could be good. Let's see. Let's see. Squire, unfortunately, is not a knight. But let's see. How many knights do we have? Oh, Katarina is not a knight. One, two. Okay. We only have two knights. So Squire Recruitment is actually really bad in this deck. Uh, but we do have Double Rant Arrive, Double Krog the Clumsy, Earthshaker, Nurber Flamewing. All right. That's a pretty interesting deck. That is QT Horlight of the Bolstered Collective. All right, next up we have NT Shea Linkuara La Sacenza della Clinica. A 94 SAS mass mutation deck. I think this one has some offers. That's right. It's got to buy it now with $600, and it's have a $120 offer from yesterday. And it's being sold by PS1221605, who I believe is Anthony Boygod. Uh, and it looks actually quite well-rounded. Uh, 12 Ember Pips, 16 Speed, uh, Artifact Control, a little bit of Creature Control, a little bit of Ember Control, or pretty good, both of those. Now it does have the Triple Loss in the Woods. Uh, Fangtooth Cavern. The Kurzap, though, is really nice. Axiom could be good. The Saurian here. Triple Citizen Shrix. Double Falsigrate and a Ludo. And a Monument to Faust and a Monument to Shrix. Uh, pretty interesting to go with that Axiom. We have an Archivist. A Kronos. A Kronos with three drop pips and logos. Uh, effervescent principle, eclectic inquiry, and a punctuated equilibrium. Uh, that one looks pretty interesting. 20 creatures overall, lots of speed. That is NT Shea. Okay, next up we have QA Marshall. This is the 88 S mass mutation deck. This one is being sold by Arenta Long. No list of price. We have an auto encoder. We have six uh, Ember Enhancement. Uh, also a Kronos, but only one other draw pip in Logos. Uh, we have Safe House and Bow Nithane is nice. Red Penny with a draw pip is cool. Double look over there. We have a Master Plan. Double Resurgence could be good, especially maybe under Master Plan. Bring back a Kronos, bring back a Bonithine. Wish that last deck had some stronger play abilities to recur. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with, with all the loss in the woods, that would be good. Uh, Kurzap under the Master Plan might be a good call here, too. Forge Compiler could do some work. It says 17 creatures overall. Uh, wild Bounty, I guess you, you don't have a, 
a lot of crazy pips here for the wild bounty. But it's got some speed. A little bit light on the creature control. Uh, but that is Mara Shal. All right, next up we have Piblot, the borrower of center, and we're back to Prospectors, a 91 sass. This has a buy it now of $400, and it's being sold by ATL. Let's see, what do we got here? We have a Abyssal Sight, a Plunder. Plunder is so good. Uh, we have a Double Kamalani. We have Illusions of Grandeur. Double Future Booster. Double Xeno Training. Double Echo Reflector. Double Specialist Guthrak. Lots of doubles here. Double Mass Buyout. Double Gemco Vendor. And an Esquire. Generous Offer. Um, I would argue it's a little bit light on Ember Control. Although the double Echo Reflector is nice. And I missed the Hapless Cadet. That's actually really nice too. So, yeah, maybe I was wrong. All right. That is Pablot. Could be yours for $400. Probably not as good as some of the other Prospector decks we've seen, but the token generation looks deceiving. Uh, well, higher on is overrated again. Yep. Esquire 3 is probably accurate. Initiation as a Chew. Oh, I could believe that. Double Kamalani is pretty good. Watch your step. Probably not getting 1.5 out of Watch Your Step. Uh, grunt Work. Recruiter is a little overrated. And we're not taking Trey. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably still uh, overrated there. All right, next up we have Rani. Yeah, this one has been getting some offers. Rani in Trium Denison. Um, it's a 98 SAS Prospector deck. This is being sold by Gorlami. It's got a buy it now of $1,000, but it's already got a $300 offer by Patomas from today. Let's see what we got here. Why does it have an offer? Why does it have a buy it now for $1,000? We do have a Proclamation 346E. That's really cool. Maybe it's a 15 token generation and the double membership drive. That could be good. Oh, uh, Actually, one stood against many with the Martyr of the Vault. That's pretty cool. You can get that off the same turn. Uh, double Future Booster. Echo Reflector, Rogue Operation, Teamwork, Double Generous Offer. And we have the Corner of the Market to close out a game. Equiji Outpost to get you to the Membership Drives. Uh, let's see. Visible Hand can do some token generation. This one is a little bit overrated because it's got the Higher On that's overrated. It's got the Blacksmith, which you're probably not playing. Uplink is probably overrated. But maybe you get the uplink on a Sanctum creature and get it off the same turn as you do the membership drives. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but that one does seem to have some place. Some place. $300 offer. So that is Rene. All right, next up we have an AOA deck. Emperor Raya Bender, the Painted Despot, an 87 sass. This logo shadows. This is being sold by Poet, aka Aurora. This one already has a $200 offer from ATL today. Three offers already. And this one does look like a really cool AOA deck. Check out the shadows. Number one, I love to see it, Snacklifter. Just think of this playing against that triple. Um, Sandhopper deck. Snecklifter and all the Sandhoppers. You got to discard all your Sandhoppers because they got Snecklifter? I don't know. We have double too much to protect. Ronnie Wrist Clocks. And it's got ways to get back that Snecklifter because you got an Archimedes. You can help her bot it. And then you can Neutron Shark it. So that's pretty cool. There's also got Brig. Binate Rupture, Interdimensional Graft, a Memory Chip for some speed, Binding Irons, 
Pit Lord here, I guess, with the three fates, maybe, is okay. Anguish, Dust Imp, Tezmal for maybe a little bit of disruption. So this one, I actually really like this deck. This is a pretty cool deck. Uh, in fact, I would even call this one... So fresh! Southerly Elf says, doesn't seem like it has enough strong tempo outside of Anguish Ronnie to reliably hit the brig. TMTP is always a toss-up. Yeah, I agree with that. Now, it is only rated 12 for Ember Control, so it's not rated super high. But you're right. They could make make it so, I mean, you got to get to that brig. But brig is good. Like, 1.8 here for a deck with brig? That's probably underrated. The too much protect, protects are probably overrated, but I would guess the graft here is underrated. Snecklifter, the ultimate anti sandhopper tech. Everybody's going to be bringing the Snecklifter or Barra. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's a cool deck. It might, it might not have enough creature control in the mode meta. I, I definitely. Definitely think that, but it looks fun. looks fun. All right, next up we have Worker Z, Russell Alp. We're back to the Prospectors, 88 SAS. This has a list of price of only $100 by Significant Figure. We have a triple Shock Herder. Um, but the Shock Herders, <laughs> the only other Brobnar creature is Looter Golem. <laughs> <laughs> Looter Goblin. <laughs> so maybe you can fight. Uh, if you get it next to Baldrick the Boulder, that'd be pretty good. Um, it also has the Flora's Lava, which actually could be good against uh, with your Prospectors and against other like Scholars and things like that. It's got Val of Blood, which is really nice with Flora's Lava as well. Barehanded, Berserker. Uh, we have Auction Off, Closed Door Negotiation, Double Hire On, Puzzling Trinket, Generous Offer. Let's see, we do have the Nidapult with the Katarina and the Baldrick the Bold. You can play Katarina the same turn with Nidapult, double outflank it, and then fight it and kill it, or, or reap and then grand melee it. So you can actually generate a lot of tokens really quick with this one. It does have the heavy subsidies, but I'm not sure if you're playing it with this one. Only 14 creatures, not a lot of big bodies. I think it's a discard. Although you could auction it off. So that's not bad, not bad. My stock of barehanded has gone up with woe specifically. Yeah, totally, especially like versus that triple sandhopper deck. Um, that had a whole bunch of artifacts. Barehand would be really good against that. For a couple turns, at least. Okay, so this is Worker Z Russell Alp. Alyssa price of $100. Okay. Next up, we're to a foreign Winds of Exchange deck. And we got a little bit more token diversity. It's a cleric. Unfortunately, no whirlpool to go with this cleric. Uh, this has no list of price, and it's being sold by Archie. Um, let's see what we got here. We have a uh, Befuddle, Offering to Kill a Gog, a Fathom Reaver, Double Kamalani, Double Baldrick the Bold with Martyr of the Vault, uh, membership drive, double pull up stakes, double recruiter, exchange offer, or sorry, exchange program, but it doesn't have the really nice Equidon capture cards to go with that exchange program, but maybe you could do it with a mix of uh, capturing in other, other houses. I mean, it does have the cleric, and then it looks like you could capture a whole bunch with some of these capture pips. So maybe you could do a little bit. 
Um, yeah. So that is La Guet Guetis. I have no idea how to spell that or say that. 85 Sass Cleric deck. All right, next up we have another Prospector deck, a 93 Sass Kovacevic of Far Spears Lake. This has been sold by Joker. No Lissa Price. We have a double rent and rive, a smith, pound, fresh marks, get hammer, Kraga clumsy. We have a pull up stakes, a turdish trap, double gem coat vendor, double general Zaorha. Out negotiate. We do have a mass buyout. And the Mars here looks looks pretty good. We have a Clone Home, Iron X Banner, Ether Spider. We have nine, nine Mars creatures, including an Iron X Rebel and double Mixatol Minded. Also a Resonator, a Beam Buckler, Harvester. All right, so that is Kovacevic, a 93 Sass. No artifact control here. Um, but 20 creatures, 20 creatures. And some pretty good Ember Control. Especially with the mix of Tall Mindage, you can probably get Rant and Rive off a lot. Okay, next up we have Kagami of Carving Kuzo, an 89 Sass Prospector deck. And not only does it have Prospectors, 12 token generation worth of Prospectors, but we also have 10, 10 draw pips, 10 draw pips. So this one is could potentially be pretty fast. This one has been sold by Anto2290, no less a price. The unfathomable here is actually pretty good. Double Abyssal Sight, Befuddle, Whirlpool, Timote the Damned. We have a Uncharted Lands and Star Alliance uh, with Six Star Alliance creatures. We have a Selective Preservation for some creature control. And we have a Closed Door, door Negotiation, Double Auction Off, Mass Buyout, Out Negotiate. Uh, this one does have a little bit of everything. So that is Kagami. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it'd be interesting to see the artifact average in Winds of Exchange and see how much higher it is than other sets. It does seem like it's much higher. Especially with things like Antiquities Dealer and the Buggies and like there's things that bring in a whole bunch of artifacts, so that helps, but even beyond that. All right. Next up... We got to get out the translator. We have the Chinese Winds of Exchange decks coming up. This one is Arsonist Lord Michaelden. Michaelden. It's a Prospector deck, 98 Sass. This one has a $600 listed price by Mark Chung 11. We have Triple Martyr of the Vault to go with Double Closed Door Negotiation. Also has a call to action um, with, let's see, three knights. Revered Monk is not a knight. Katarina is not a knight. Chalet is a, so four knights with a call to action and four knights with a honorable claim. We have double scoop up. Mixatol Minded, our next rebel. Uh, we have a Zyzok here, which could be nice. Martians make bad allies. We have a double trading frenzy. We have a sand hopper and an Ikwiji outpost. A shrewd investor and double closed door negotiation and a mess buyout. So a little bit of everything, a little bit low on the artifact control, but lots of ember control. So that is arsonist. 
All right, next up we have Sokolov, the director of birds, and we have another different type of token. We have the fish, a 92 SAS fish deck. This one has been sold by Vendetta VXV. No listed price. We have a double mass buyout, double shrewd investor, a Tia Arhi Esquire, a triple space invaders. This can make tokens like nobody nobody's business. 28.5 token making. Um, and the sad part here, the double fathom reaver is really good, but what would you would love to see with this deck with having so many fish tokens is probably a little bit more disruption. Like if you had a couple abyssal sites or befuddles, that would go so good and unfathomable. Reap it out with all your fish. Now the double fathom reaver is nice. The kelp's nice. The bubbles is nice. Double frigorific rod is actually pretty nice as well, but... The Mars here makes tokens like nobody's business. Clone Home, Triple Space Invaders, Iron X Banner, Double Vatminder. We have a Memorax the Red with a scoop up. Mixitol Minded. All right. That's a pretty interesting deck. And that is Sokolov. Is there such thing as too much token generation because of Rule of Six? Yeah, definitely. After a while, they uh, are useless. Although I guess you can mass buy out. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like what would be great with a fish or like a bunch of generous offers to kill them. You also do damage to their highest power creature while stealing. Yeah, not if you have membership drives. <laughs> All right, next up we have Eagerly Obtuse Ormer. And we have another token. We have a sh our first strange shell deck of the night. It's an 86 sass, and it's being sold by Fox B out of Italy. Fox Blaster, no list of price. Uh, lots of speed here. Double Ganymede outposts for lots of art or uh, archiving. That's pretty cool. Double Rogue Operation, hold the line. See our officer Hawkins. Closed door negotiation. Uh, Gesdrucio the arcane. Trading frenzy, shopping spree, mass buyout, pull up stakes. We have a champion's challenge in Brobnar. Feats of strength, press gang, unguarded camp, might club, brick nasty, earth shaker. This one only has eight token generation. Uh, but this one has a strange shell, so you can get stuff back. Let's see. So in this one, you could be artifact uh, archiving like nonstop. I wonder if you can get to a pretty cool end state. It does have one generous offer. Double two, do two rogue operations. Yeah, you could maybe do some stuff. The Italians have their woe. It's all over. All the OP Italian decks are going to be taken over. Actually, I'm really excited. We have, in just a week and a half, the Florence Vault Tour. It'll be cool to see what comes out of that. All right, next up we have Fuel Emperor Gunner Nimrod. Oh, what a name. Fuel Emperor Gunner Nimrod. It's a 93 SAS Worlds Collide deck. This is being sold by William Lamb for God. And it's got a buy it now of 700 euros. And we got tons of speed here. We have a Calm Officer Kirby, an Information Officer Gray, Lay of the Land, Double Medic Ingram. And we have Double Igor, a Code Monkey, Memory Chip. Wild Wormhole, Tau Tau, Double Information Exchange, and everybody's favorite, Data Forge. We have a Double In Furnace, a Not Finish With You, Evil Eye, Three Fates. So the, the Double Not Finish With You are great in this deck. There's so many good cards to put back. The Double In Furnace, the Double Igor, the Kirby, Gray, and Double Ingram. Uh, Greater Oxtet. It's pretty good to get rid of some of the lower quality cards. This is actually a really nice deck. 
Low creature control, as always with Worlds Collide, but you're probably hoping with all your speed you're just getting tons of creatures out. All right, so that is Gunner Nimrod. Okay, next up we have another Strange Cell deck. Intelzer the Ascetic Researcher, an 87 sass. Oh no, this one is no longer for sale. JK, JK, y'all. Uh, maybe it already sold? Let's, let's check really quick, because I am interested. Ascetic. Oh, this was listed a couple times, actually. This was last listed by Robot Rob 3 um, just four days ago. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's sold or not, but it's no longer for sale. So we're going to move on. All right, we have a Mass Mutation deck, 88 SAS. Let's check out the name. We have Strong Alley Recorder Venus. And we, we got your creature control here. This has also been sold by William Lamb for God. 25 creature control, although triple gateway is a bit high with all those chains. Cyberclone, though, is really nice. Uh, we do have the auto encoder to get some uh, value for when we discard those gateways. We have double eclectic inquiry, Marcadis, Essence Scale, Orb of Invidious, Infernus, uh, Kronos with only four drop pips, only one in Logos. We have a Bonithine, a Barrow, could do some work. All right, so that is Venus. Okay, next up we have Sulfur Fool Spawn of Syllablet, a 90 SAS Squire deck. This is listed by Big Z for $500, and it's got 18 printed ember. Let's see, and it looks like. It got all of the enhanced ember here. Puzzling trinket. Oh, it didn't get the puzzling trinket. So it actually has 20. 20 printed ember here. Because it didn't get the puzzling trinket there. 20 printed ember. 33 expected ember. Very low creature control though. Uh, 19 token generation. And lots of ember control. Triple Mars needs Ember, a Hypnotic Command with uh, six Mars creatures. We have a Closed Door Negotiation. We do have a Sandhopper. We have an Esquire, Freelancer. Um, yeah, with a Sandhopper, you could bounce your Chew Pip Recruiter. That's not bad. Or your Chew Pip Vetminder. Uh, let's see, we got Baldrick the Bold, Double Colonel Mariana, Katarina. Yeah, so you probably just want to race with this one. So that is Sulfur Fuel. Sulfur Fuel. Puzzling Trinket, but plus resolve a bunch of capture icons on a friendly creature, then freelance that Ember to Purgatory. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, next up we have Eternal Rest of Brass Ward. A 93 SAS Prospector deck. Also listed for $500 by Big Z. And this one um, has 18 printed ember. Now, 18 Printed Ember with a Prospector could actually be pretty, pretty good. Especially the Printed Ember is spread out pretty well. It does have three higher on, so this uh, token generation is probably a little bit overrated. But the one with the Printed Ember is really nice. Uh, it also has an Inspiring Oration. Let's see, how many Ember could we get on a creature here? We got the Failing Strike. We have the Ballastago. We have the Orator Hisaro. Praetor Marius could get a bunch on it. Um, so yeah, we have a chance to get 
decent amount. We do have a couple capture pips in Sanctum as well, and also request donations. A couple of those. Uh, yeah, so this one could do some work. Also, exchange program. To exchange maybe all that ember. So that is Eternal Restabrass Lord. All right, on to Bramsler, spawn of Isa Stump, a 90 cess prospector deck. Like half the decks tonight are prospector pretty much. <laughs> this has also been sold by Big Z for $300. 17 and a half token generation. Um, this one has an incubation chamber, but only four Mars creatures. It does have a Psychic Network to go with that, and Iron X Rebel, so you could at least get a Steel 2 off of it. Triple Auction off. This one hates Artifacts. Maybe you don't care. You can you can definitely purge your Exoshell system. Um, let's see. We also got Closed Door Negotiation, Exchange Program, Membership Drive... Membership drive could do some work here. You can make four ember pretty easily, or four tokens pretty easily in Mars. And with the space invaders, even more. All right, so that is Bramsler, listed for $300. Next up, we have Yadit, Harsh Obliette Palatine, a 93 SAS Prospector deck. This one has been sold by Kiba Kiba Kiba. And it's got a buy it now with 400 euros. And it had us an offer of 200 euros yesterday from Fox Blaster. Uh, this one appears to be sold out of Germany. Let's see, we have a closed door, double closed door negotiation with a corner of the market, an Equiji Outpost for some speed, an Esquire. This one it does have pretty good creature control overall. A mass buyout, a market crash. Uh, in Star Alliance, we have double rogue operation, a future booster, double echo reflector, a FOF transponder. And in Brobnar, triple berserker slam, a Ragnarok prep. All right, that is Yadit. Next up, we have De Perone. The Bodyguard of Clarity. And this one looks like it can go fast. We have our first Diplomat of the night. It's an 85 SAS Diplomat, and it's got 39 expected ember. It's got a listed price of $200. Oh, there's more high SAS sales being listed right now. This one is listed for $200 from Big Z. It's got 21 printed ember. And it missed a puzzling trinket. So this one actually has 23 printed ember. Plus epic poem. Plus a closed door negotiation. Um, Wow. It's got a rant and rive as well. Lots of pretty good ember control. Hedonistic intent. Fresh marks. Orator of sorrow. This one just wants to zoom. Tourist trap could be really good. Especially with your trading frenzy. A legionary trainer? Probably doesn't stay alive, but could be good. All right, that is De Perone. Next up, we have El Perutz, Antagonizer of the Slimy Berg. It's an 85 SAS mass mutation deck. It's listed for $100 by JB Archiver. We have a double in furnace, ritual of Tognath, double stirring grave, Lord Invidious, double gateway. We have a bow knifing, a master plan, a borrow, hold the line, transporter platform with Anthony, lay of the land, 18 ember pips overall. Uh, kind of a well-rounded stats here to go with those 18 Ember Pips. This is actually, this one I think is a deal for $100. 
Now, I have, I've never played it, so I'm not sure how it plays. So 16 creatures, maybe they're not spread. They're all kind of weak. They're all really weak, and they're kind of spread out. So you don't really have a main house here. So there, you do have a little bit of that issue. But maybe if you can get your Lord Invidious going, that becomes your main house. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't play as good as the stats look just because it doesn't really have a main house. But that is La per El Peruts. All right, next up we have Husher, the Warden of Rancor. Oh no, it's no longer for sale. So never mind. We are not going to look at this Coda deck. I think it was the first Coda of the night. Okay, next up we have Freeman, the Recluse of Bow Pit. We're up to a 97 SAS Prospector. This is being sold by I am Daisukemon. We have another triple hire on. Market crash, generous offer. Trade secrets, tourist trap. We have double rogue operation. Contrina warp. And unfathomable is pretty nice here. We have a illusions of grandeur, a befuddle, a thunder toe, double fathom reaver, a kamalani. It does have the whirlpool, which looks a little bit awkward in this deck. Probably not a whirlpool deck, but that is Freeman. All right, next up we have Pandit Tulub Tulau Tu Tulob Febland. A 91 SAS Explorer deck. This is being sold by Flaming Hobo. It's a heavy subsidies. Wait, is this the same one we looked at before? This might be the same one we looked at before. If it was listed twice, I may have accidentally listed it or uh, put it on again. Yeah, it totally is. We looked at this one before, so I'm going to skip it. All right, next up we have Melindrock. Aya Linguini Leighton, a 91 SAS fish deck with double membership drive. This one's being sold by Flaming Hobo. 16 token generation overall. Let's see, we do have the Katarina the Summoner in Sanctum. And the double membership drive and a renewed life. So maybe with renewed life, you could get a really big membership drive off. It's got double Ganymede Outpost, so you could archive the membership drives to to plan for a big burst. And the Unfathomable here, Illusions of Grandeur with triple Befuddle and Catch and Release. Wow, indeed, I agree. That's a big ouch. Double Kamalani, Covetous Hema, Fathom Reaver, and 18 Ember Pips. This one looks actually pretty good. Now, besides the catch and release, the creature control here is actually pretty bad. So, yeah, I don't know. The question is, is this fast enough to overcome the weaknesses? I don't know. But that is Melindrac. All right, next up we have another Vault Master. Master Nick Barg... Barg Excuse me, Bargnani, an 89 SAS. And this one has a $120 offer, which has been rejected. It's got a couple offers today. This is also being listed by Flaming Hobo. Let's see, we have a double M4 Captura with six Semper Tyrannosaurus. That's that's something. And lo look at all these enhancements that you can capture with M4 and then... Give it all to yourself with six Semper. So that's really good. We have Double Gone Goozle, A Grim Reminder, Mark a Dis, Lash of Broken Dreams, Pain Mail, Exhum. In Brobnar, we have the Ganger Knot with Double Drummer Knot, Ganger Chieftain. We have a, also have Double Lolup and a Brick Nasty, Rant and Rive. Uh, this deck looks pretty legit, actually. Not a lot of speed. Um, and no artifact control. But some pretty cool tricks, at least. Pretty cool tricks. So that is Master Neek. 
All right, next up we have Letterman, Laments de Tenu du Weiss. Uh, an 85 sas French scholar deck. It's our first scholar of the night. And we also have Holofest. And we got a bunch of Ember Pips. This one is listed for 500 euros by 20100. And we also have Amphora Captura in the house. Let's see, do we have all the Ember Pips on this one? Double Stewart and Amphora. Yeah, I think we have them all. Uh, we have a Holofast with Double Brick Nasty. Uh, maybe with a Mike Club we can get it off the same turn. We also have Double Pound and Hebe the Huge. You could do that. Play the Get Hammer, play a Hebe the Huge, and then Double Pound it. On uh, Echodon, we have the Closed Door Negotiation, Force Retirement, Generous Offer, Equiji Outpost, and Sandhopper for some speed and flexibility. Tourist Trap is nice. And Saurian, uh, we have City State Interest, Inspiring Oration. Faust, Longest or Lector, Senator Brackus is really nice with the City State Interest. And and the M4 Captura. Uh, this one this one's pretty scary. This one's cool. This one has a lot of weird stuff going on. A lot of weird stuff. Looks pretty cool. Alright, that is Litterman. Next up we have CZ Shea. Sorveglia la Lichesa della Crypta, an 87 SAS Italian Prospector deck. Being sold by Anto2290. We have Triple Falsigrate, Double Phalanx Leader, Double Praetor Marius, Double Symposium, and a City State Interest. Uh, we have Martyr's End with Katarina. Uh, we have a friendship. We have a trading frenzy with freelancer. Closed door negotiation. Not a lot of creature control here. Uh, but that is CZ Shea. All right, next up we have Tonishin. Azarius, Azarius, Conigan, Ancestor, an 89 SAS Researcher. We have another Holofest deck. This one is being sold by Arentalong. Uh, it's also got Feats of Strength. Um, Equidon is double auction off, double exchange program with a trading frenzy. In Mars, we have Double Clone Home, Space Invaders, Revo, Revo Hooligans, Kaboom, Harvester. Let's see. So I guess the goal here is just archive your whole Mars and then just play out of two houses, probably. All right. That looks like a pretty nice deck. That is Tonachin. All right, next up we have Cauldron of Jerazayar Stronghold, an 87 SAS Prospector deck with a lot of Ember Pips. This one's also being sold by Arenta Long, and it's got a $120 Euro. Uh, 120 Euro offer is what I meant to say. Uh, it's got a Maverick Glixel Weaponsmith. Glitlix Weaponsmith. Uh, it's got the Curse Relic, which is not captured here. So that means it's got at least 19 Ember. Yeah, it's got 19 Ember. Now it's got a replay pod with um, 7 Mars Creature. That's actually pretty cool. Too bad it doesn't have a Rebel. It's got a Fathom Reaver, Guiltspine School. Double Under Pressure, Illusions of Grandeur, A Closed Door Negotiation, Double Force Retirement, Mass Buyout. Let's see, does it have any way to get rid of your Curse Relic? It doesn't have Air Lock. It doesn't have Trade Secrets. Uh, don't think there's a way to get rid of your Curse Relic here. That is a little bit of a problem. 
Gotta hope you tokenize it. Okay, next up we have R. Untris Hillis, La Afamata di Ferro. We got a 97 SAS Coda deck. Oh no, it's no longer for sale though. This one was, was being sold by a rent along. No longer for sale. We're not going to waste any time on it. Oh, we have another Vault Master deck. This one is Def Chaos Master of the Gallery. It's an 85 SAS being sold by Sunday. What? Sunday. Sorry. Sunday. What's up, Sunday? And. It's okay if you're gone by now, but let's see what you got. 28 expected ember. We have a double dusk witch with a glimmer, a ghost hawk, a key frog, witch of the eye, rapid evolution. Let's see. No way to kill your key frog on the same turn. A fuzzy gruen, witch of the eye is cool though. In Star Alliance, we have Grand Alliance Council, Rogue Operation, Future Booster, Double Subject Kirby. Uh, Future Booster is actually pretty interesting in a non-token deck, too. Try and maybe put all one house on the bottom or something like that. The Double Subject Kirby is really nice here, especially to get out a Dusk Witch behind uh, Lieutenant Kirkar or something like that. And then in this we have Fear, Mark of Dis, Poltergeist, Three Fates, Slash of Broken Dreams, Gabbos Long Arms, Bone Saw is ready. All right. Uh, Essence Scale here is actually pretty good too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, especially with a Dust Imp. All right, that is Def Chaos. Cool looking deck. Next up, we have Sisigal, the Shadow of Atmosphere, a 90 SAS Prospector deck. This is listed for 100 euros by Victor Kayuzel. We have Double Puzzling Trinket, and those ember aren't in here. So this one actually has 19 ember pips. Uh, we have Closed Door Negotiation and Generous Offer. We're a little bit lack lacking on creature control but we do have two maelstrom and a thunder toe we have a lot of bodies in sanctum with a light everlasting we have anahita the traitor battlefield evangelist shelly the safeguard triple colonel mariano you're going to be capturing a lot with this deck and we have a legacy yurian the circumspect which you can tuck behind your sanctum guardian unfortunately no shoulder armor to go with that yurian Okay, so that is Sisigal. Next up, we have Alan Alanta, who foretells vaults. A 90 SAS vault master deck being sold by Kokathe. No lesser price. 22 speed here, and 24 creature control. Let's see what we got. We have triple phase shift. We have a Kronos with only two drop pips, an Igor, a Mother, an Interdimensional Graft, Effervescent Principle, and a Bouncing Death Cork. Very nice. We have a Radiated Ember. Cool. Double Kaboom. Mars Needs Ember. Double Combat Pheromones. Uh, these are kind of sad Combat Pheromones because you only have three Mars creatures now. Um, the one cool thing that you can do with combo pheromones here is get your crystal hive off on a non-Mars turn. Which is really cool. Because you can use two other Mars cards. So you can activate your crystal hive on a dish turn. And the cool part about this dis, Lord Invidious with Essence Scale. You can get Lord Invidious off the turn you play it. Uh, Library of the Dam, Double Gleeful Mayhem, 22F and 17E. Looks like a Vault Master. Yeah, this one's got some cool plays, though. Um, it looks kind of really weird. I guess this is your main house here. Uh, it looks like really weird to play, but it's got some plays. It looks pretty cool. Atlanta, who foretells vaults. All right, next up we have... An AOA deck, Morales. Oh no, it's no longer for sale. This was being 
put up for sale by Fatal Putsch 1, but it's no longer. So I'm not sure if it's sold or not. So we will move on. Here's another. Oh, this one was also being listed by Fatal Putsch. Uh, Yasmin Purple Town Eater, a 95 SAS Worlds Collide deck, which looks quite good, actually. 23 speed. Four Tau Tau Vapors. So I'm not sure if they're sold or not. Reach out to Fatal Putsch if you're interested. Quad Vapors with the Data Forge and with EE on the fringes. Uh, lots of cool stuff you could do with that. Okay, next up is Ichiro, La Equilibrato Antiquario del Porto, an 85 SAS Warrior deck. Being sold by Mars for 300 euros. We have a replay pod with four Mars creatures. We have a Crystal Hive, a double scoop up with Memroxa Red, but no Rebel to go with it. We have double Freelancer. Is Freelancer good in this deck? I'm not sure if it is. Maybe you can take one of their valuable creatures, but it does have a Quiji Outpost, Exchange Program, Closed Door Negotiation, uh, Endless Hordes with Warrior could be pretty good, although no Brick Nasty to go with it. Banner Battle is actually super sweet because it makes your Warriors into 5 power. All right. It does kind of have uh, well-rounded stats. That is Ichiro. Okay, we're we're to the final stretch here. And we got uh, over 100 SAS, 102 SAS Prospector deck, Titan Smith, listed for 250 euros. That's maybe the cheapest 100 plus SAS deck I've ever seen. But is it good? Let's see. It's listed by El Sizor. Uh, we have double rogue operations, double echo reflector, double scout chief corager. We have the Ulfbert device. We have an airlock, double scoop up, uh, destroy them all, a Zyzok, a Mixital minded, triple mass buyout, generous offer, market crash. Uh, not a lot of huge flashy cards, but and um, all your board wipes are in Equidon, which is a little bit awkward. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how this one would play out. But that is Titan Smith or Smythe. Okay, next up we have Singer Pereira. An 86 S mass mutation being sold by Vance Madrox. It has a buy and out for only $50 and a high offer already of $35. Sent only about five hours ago. So if you want this one, you got to get on it pretty quick. It does have 27 speed. Eclectic Inquiry, Triple Ethologica, Sloppy Labwork, Auto Encoder, Daughter. We have a Red Penny, a Bow Nithing, a Gambling Den. That's always fun. And double red alerts, Anthony Subject Kirby. All right, so that could be yours for fifty dollars. Singer Pereira. Next up, we have Dante Il Borghese, Dapitori Dapitori della Zupa, something of soup. All right, we gotta look it up. We gotta look it up. Dante the Borghese, voice actor of the soup. An 86S mass mutation. This is being sold by our favorite, JT Russell. It's got 33 expected ember. Uh, we do have... We do have the sins in the house. Got to have a good voice actor when voicing soup. Definitely. We have a Obsidian Forge with 18 creatures overall. We have a Senator Brachus with double Spoils of Battle and a City State Interest and a Curiosaurus. And a Perfectus Ludo to protect all of that. Um, so that's pretty nice. Untamed, Double Lost in the Woods, a Reclaimed by Nature, Song of the Wild, but 
Uh, you probably don't want to go in the Untamed again. It does have six Untamed creatures, but two of them are one power. If you could get the double Lumilu off, that's pretty good, but... Um, all right, that is the voice actor of Soup. Soup is notoriously trick, notoriously tricky to voice. I mean, who's won an Oscar for voice in Soup? Like, really? We have a lack of talent in the voice actors of Soup. All right, next up, we have a Chinese Winds of Exchange deck with a Rebel token. I think that's our first Rebel of the night. That is Fortress Thief God Gianbo Esther. And it's listed for $500 by Mark Chung 11, and it's a Holofest deck. You can actually get it off in the same turn with your Flamethrower and Berserker Slam. Not that you probably want to do that. You might. It does have the Double Brick Nasty, which is nice. Double Befuddle. Um, a Bubbles. Maelstrom. Let's see. Unfortunately, no Mars Needs Ember to go with our Rebel. Uh, we do have Big Magnet, Double Kaboom, a Brain Dart, Space Invader, Swap Widget, Double Mix It Hole Minded. Okay. So that is Fortress Thief God. All right. And we have another Chinese Winds of Exchange, an 86 SAS Explorer deck. This is Runin Zongleng. General Han Haochu. Uh, it's listed for $250 by Mark Chung. Uh, we got double recorded history, triple higher on, closed door negotiation. We have a double lava ball, a fresh mark, so floor is lava, rant and rive. 16 ember pips overall, and uncharted lands. Uh oh. With, uh, let's see, how many? Six. Uncharted lands here with the Explorer could be pretty good, actually. And you have six other um, creatures in Star Alliance, so that's not bad. Let's see. Um, let me fix my lighting here. Okay. So that is Runin, listed for $250. And I did see... Let's see, how many more decks that came in? Uh, two more decks. At least two more decks that came in while we're, while we're streaming. First we have Battle Troll Fremont, a 93 SAS Berserker deck. Lissa by Sunday. What's up, Sunday? Um, let's see, let's see what we got here. Oh, we even got a little bit of disruption to go with our big old Berserkers. And we have an Endless Hordes with a Brick Nasty. We have Abyssal Sight offering to Kilogog. So Bog's thingamabob. 24C. Uh, we have Recorded History, a Xeno Training, an Echo Reflector. Let's see. Press Gang. Press Gang is really nice to have with Berserker. A little bit lacking on the Ember Control. But get, o get out all those big old Berserkers and uh, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Oh man. Suddenly Elf is also a listen one. Let's see, but first, before we get there, we had another one by Significant Figure. We have Page in XVO, the fourth. I guess everybody knows that I stream at this time. They want to get their decks in. This is an 85 sets mass mutation, listed for only $70 by Significant Figure. We have 17 Ember Pips overall, 27 Expected Ember with a Dark Harbinger. We now have a Double Wild Bounty, so you can get the 2 Pip Mutation of Fury off, probably. We have a Commune. We have a Dacilis, um, City Gates with a Prefectus Ludo, double Prefectus Ludo to go with your Dacilis. Uh, we have a Grim Reminder, an Infernus, a Market Dis, Fangtooth Cavern. Uh, yeah, so this one has some stuff that it could do. 
The more I play with Sobox, the thing Bob, I love it. Yeah, yeah, it is really cool. Love the tempo play. It it could really set him back. All right, that is Paige, XVO, and then okay, finally last deck of the night. By our own lovely Southerly Elf, we have Puanum, Clever Ponger. It's a 93 Prospector deck. We, of course, have to finish with Prospector after all the Prospectors. We have a buy it now of $450. Let's check it out. Uh, lots of token making, 18 and a half. Now we do have two higher ons and a blacksmith. Well, what else we got? We got two Ragnarok prep, which is really good, and a rent and rive. We have a press gang, a bumpsy, Krog the clumsy, a closed door negotiation. Lots of good artifact or ember control here. Double generous offer is really good with prospector. Ooh, and Talent Scout. We've seen how powerful Talent Scout uh, can be with Ooze. That's really good disruption there. And let's check out this Unfathomable. We have Abyssal Sight, Bryozoark, Brackish Shoreline, Double Fathom Reaver, uh, Double Sunk Cost. So this one has some pretty good disruption here. The low creature control is a little bit worrying, but um, it looks like it can, with the Ember control, a decent amount of Ember generation and the disruption. Yeah, I think it can do some stuff. And it looks like it's got enough speed to kind of get to everything that it needs to. Let's see, does it have any way to pop back tokens into your hand if you need it? Don't think so. All right, but cool deck. That is the Clever Pawn Drawer. Could be yours for $450. All right, so we did it. That was, I think, 67 decks. Whew. It's tough catching up on two weeks. Uh, but there's been lots of offers, lots of lots of stuff going on. People getting ready for nationals, people getting ready for vault tours, and I will be at Las Vegas vault tour this weekend in two days. So if you're there, I hope to see you there. Come see me. I'm the funny looking guy. Um, I do hope to bring some name tags so we can see who's who. Uh, yeah, come see me. I'm gonna be sporting these cool little abr pins yep and uh might even have some other cool stuff so really looking forward to that that's going to be a lot of fun uh and it'll be great to see everybody there's actually a lot of bears coming it's going to be great to see the team in action yes Looking forward to seeing you too, Joe. Let's go. Yep. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Amber Medes. Thanks, Southerly Elf. Thanks, Zoded. Thanks, Dead Sink. Um, Y'all have a really great night. Great day. Yeah. I, I've been having extreme FOMOs on, on all the other Vault Tours. So I get it. I get it. All right. Um, I also plan to be streaming tomorrow at lunch, uh, Pacific time, for my last NKFL match for the season. I think I need to win maybe one or two, or one with a certain key difference to uh, to stay in gold. So we'll see. We'll see. I will be I will be playing against Linusu, and he's always got some really cool decks. So. With that, that's a stream. Thanks, everybody, again for watching. And uh, hopefully see you in Vegas. And if not, we will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Take care. Oh, yeah. Hope to be streaming a little bit in Vegas, too. Probably some both or stuff. We'll see. But, uh, see everybody.